Hi guys, my name is Peter and welcome to our channel. Today I was gonna remove it hub motor on my uh, Uber Scoot CT800. Pretty much uh, like I mentioned in my previous video, uh, a month ago or so I got some uh, grounding sound coming from a uh, rear hub motor. And then when I get home I recognize it the tire is a little bit low pressure. I pump it uh, more pressure, take it for spin and sound uh, disappears. The thing is, the pressure in the tire sh sh should not provide do a metal grounding sound. That's why I decided today to take it uh, apart and see what's going on. I mean, uh, on a uh, scooter with hub motors, it's actually pretty easy to remove it. Uh, in our application, in our case, what we're gonna do? We're gonna first we're gonna remove the seat with part of frame. It's not really have to be, but it uh, will be more uh, space to work around. Then it's gonna disconnect the cable. Um, all in one, uh, I mean the uh, cable to a hub motor, remove it a couple knots, well loosen up, that's a 18 millimeter I need socket, and with Allen inch I'm gonna remove this brake which is on, on this side. Let's start. Okay guys, the hub motor is out. Like I said, it, it, with uh, hub motors it's pretty simple, it's straightforward. Couple nuts, one cable and you're good to go. And like I mentioned before, I mean when when the grounded sound is it appears, I mean at that uh, trip, I raise it up a uh, scooter, I spin it and I didn't hear any, any grounding sound. Like right now I do, you see, it's spinning with no sound at all. Do, that's a geared hub motor, it has a gear reduction inside, pretty much, and it has one way, one way bearing. In the one direction it spins freely, in another direction, if you feel it, it, it has a tension, that's the gears. Let me, uh, before we open it, you have to deflate the tires, because otherwise, if you start open a part with pressure in, I mean under pressure, it may rip it, your rim, uh, that's a rim, split rim, or it's gonna bust it inner tube. And even like I mentioned before, the tire pressure should not make any difference uh, for performance of uh, motor itself, well of course the mileage will be different if you run in a low, pre low pressure tire it, it, it will it will kinda yeah okay let's let me start removing all screws and actually oh you know what it's kinda it's kinda weird that uh, wheel, I mean the rim itself, like I mentioned, it splits on two, and it has uh, what? It has a six screws, and now when I press it, when I squeeze the wheel, I see I see the this portion of rim, it's moving on the screws. The screws probably is not tight. That's why it's making the sound. No, actually the screws is tight. Yeah. That's and it actually moves pretty good. Maybe like 1 16th. I mean, it moves back and forth, which is not supposed to be. I bet you that's what it makes sound. Yeah. Uh, well, I have to, I have to disassemble it. Let me try to remove it. the tire itself. I mean, push it down a little bit. Yeah, it, it's moving slightly. Okay guys, by removing a couple screws, I can see the screws itself, the head, it did make a marks on those uh, spots where it's tightened and looks like it did move it back and forth. Basically, the screws looks like it's probably a little bit longer than it should be. Because like I said, I mean, it's, it's not supposed to move back and forth. 
I'm not sure if camera can pick it up, but you can feel it. That upper rim of a uh, rim is moving. I mean, it's, even those screws is tight, but it it still have some space. And that's probably what's happened when tires is a low pressure. That po this portion of rim is moving back and forth when you're riding. Okay. I did remove the tire, he, he even was uh, stuck really really good, I did I did have to use my own trick, pretty much I was using a vice grip to squeeze it and break it loose from one side and then I did from another side, which like I said is a pain in the butt. Uh, then I put three screw back and remember when I was deflating tire, I tell you that, that upper portion rim it was uh, even the screws was tight, but it it, it was sloppy. All three uh, three screw I put it back, tight it, and let me show you. Pretty much, you guys has, can see one sixteen. It, it it has a gap, and those screws, like I said, I mean I tight it, and, and and you can see it's pretty tight. Yeah. This this thing it should it should never happen. The screws is too long. What it's gonna do? It's gonna trim it probably uh, like 116 or so. I mean, 116 is like what 1.5 millimeter, uh, and then screws it back. I have to uh, trim them to make sure they will tighten those two pieces together with no movement. That's what happened when you're driving on a low pressure of tire. That's when uh, that's where sound come from because, like I said. That the motor spins nice and tight, oh, pretty much like that. <laughs> uh, the bearings feels really good. Yeah, there's no reason even to take apart, probably. Well, guys, this is a short video. I hope it's uh, it's gonna be helpful for someone who if if they have if they have similar problem. Also, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will really appreciate. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.